Hello everybody, have you ever wondered what is the motor used inside the washing machine? If yes, let's hop in and see what's inside. Let's search for the washing machine motor. Ooh. Okay, so you should be knowing by now what is this. If not, check out my other videos. This is a washing machine motor called a universal motor. I'm showing you the meaning of universal motor. This is meant to work on AC, but as well, it's gonna work on, on DC as well. Not the same high speed, not the same rotation, but it's gonna be there. Okay, number one is this special voltage controller or motor Opening controller. DC, gonna... AC and What's come next? You never know. Here you go, power. Fly away, motherfucker. Yeah, this is fucking loud, man. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this sucker. Second version is a light dimmer. All the We're way gonna through. try this. <laughs> back this is gonna be the setup for the washing machine motor generator how to wire it basically I told you before we're gonna ident identify the field windings we're gonna apply power to it not much and we're gonna rotate the the rotor with the help of this washing machine part you know this is the drum inside the washing machine the washer we we'll call it wash washing yeah so we're gonna put a belt to the motor like normally is used in the in the washing machine we're gonna spin it and we're gonna apply power to it let me set it up very nice and we're gonna be back all right folks so as i told you before we're gonna bring in the 12 volts battery a light bulb to limit the current flowing through the field windings and after that we're gonna attach the multimeter to, to see exactly how it is so basically these two wires are the field windings the last two yeah so we're gonna connect the battery straight away doesn't matter which one is plus and which one is minus there you go and on the other side on the negative side we're gonna connect the the bulb Basically, this is a 12 volts incandescent. Let's see here. We're gonna light up. So it meaning that the power is going to the to the windings. All right. We're gonna connect the multimeter to the rotor. And after that, we're gonna set up the camera, and I'm gonna give it a spin and to see exactly what are the measurements. All right, folks. Bear with me for a while. I'm gonna connect the, the LED bulb to the other end. You see, now it's lighting. <coughs> and I'm gonna try to give it a spin. Ah, not touchy, not touchy, touchy. Okay. No skills required, folks. Don't try this at home. You see? Yeah. Set it up. Okay. God damn. Mm. All right, folks. The battery is kind of dead, so we're gonna try to move as fast as we can. You can see the the light bulb is barely leaving. So we're gonna try to keep this one steady. And here you go, folks. Ah, slit. All right, so ba the battery is nearly dead. We're gonna try maybe later a little bit, but now I'm gonna show you without the battery, the washing machine motor is still generating, but not that much power. No, without the battery, you see, without applying power, too low. You see, very few volts. 
Alright then. So basically this washing machine motor can be turned into a generator if we're gonna find something to spin it fast enough and maybe with the power generated by it to compensate the, the power of this. Uh, we are trying now at this moment but as soon as we're gonna see something uh, real useful I'm gonna post it. In the meanwhile check out the other videos and uh, stay tuned thumbs up subscribe and who knows maybe next time we're gonna have a free energy device thanks all for watching no skills required out, out.